This is the Xbox Tavern, and today I present you Warhammer Chaos Bane Slayer. I am Daniel, and I'm going to be taking you through this review. You've got six characters which you can choose from, which is nice, and they range from a soldier to a mage-style character and anything else in between. You're greeted by a wonderfully long cutscene which tells you some of the backstory and what you've been lumped into. From there, we jump straight into the tutorial mission, which gives you the chance to work out how to use your weapons, gain some abilities, and then actually have the game open up and let you push through to the story. If you see some of the art style in the cutscene, which is coming up, it's wonderfully hand drawn and it gives you that old rustic comic book style as well, which is uh, pleasant to see. Warhammer Chaos Baneslayer really reminded me of a Diablo-esque game. This is hack slash loot, almost rinse and repeat. Uh, there were a few times which I felt it was very fetch questy. So you would go, you would turn in the mission, he would give you another mission to go through another door, which you'd have to go through another dungeon and kill multiple, multiple enemies. Um, while picking up loot. This was a nice change. At, at present I'm playing uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So this was kind of a good palate cleanser as I jumped in and uh, needed a slight break away. Um, there is so much loot every time you go through a mission. Um, you can customize things from your hat, your boots, your sword, your gun, rings that you hold on, on your person as well as chains. And these all give you different types of uh, buffs like better shield, stronger hit power, uh, better firing range. So it does really benefit yourself to go through and to pick up these items and to constantly look at your inventory and make sure you have the highest spec weapon that you can. A nice little touch within this is you had, I think it was five or six different presets so you could preset your character if you wanted him to be super uh, strong, uh, if you wanted a really good shield on another one, if there were certain buffs that you liked but you wanted to interchange with others, this was nice kind of presets that you could have and you could change out your, uh, your person to carry on with the mission. I did fall into a few stumbling blocks however while playing this game um, the control scheme is good however switching between your sword and your gun uh, it was a flick of the right stick I found sometimes it was quite difficult especially when the screen was filled with loads of enemies and you had that kind of tight combat it took me I don't know 20 minutes maybe 45 minutes to finally get my rolling ability which yeah, give me a roll ability straight at the beginning. Um, so yes, I gained the roll ability, which I was able to roll out from the heavily flooded screen. I was able to flick my stick, and then I was able to shoot, and then flick back, and then go back into my melee weapon. Um, I did find that slightly frustrating. As I said, I am Daniel. I've reviewed this for the Xbox Tavern. Head over to xboxtavern.com com to see the final scores conclusions and review if you've enjoyed this video please make sure you like it subscribe to the channel and check out some of our other videos there's plenty of reviews going up weekly we also have a podcast make sure you tune in for that take care bye bye